friend Allie join me in making these beautiful simple super duo earrings featuring a design by Cheryl here at Potomac Beads. Remember if you need any supplies but you probably already have them all on hand you can look at the links below the video in the description to get links to shop with us online. So as I was saying you most likely have all of this on hand. So looking at the different supplies you're going to need some super duos and 6-0 bead. Whether or not you're using the 6-0 in a crystal or a pearl, that is completely up to you. Gemstone, lots of different variations. Some 11-0 seed beads, some, some super duos, and I'm featuring the super duo in that um, electric metal lust green. And then we're going to be using some Potomac crystals on the outer edge, the one and a half by two millimeter. If you have different materials, you can use some 8-0 seed beads if you don't have those. And then you can choose what to drop down from the base of your project. So just 15 O's, Crystal, Super Duo, 11 O's, and that center pearl. To begin, we're going to be using a size 10 needle. You can use a 10 or a 12. And I have some .006 white thread. Cheryl helped me do these on a Facebook Live, and now I'm recording them for all of you YouTube watchers. I'm going to put my 6 millimeter pearl in that bright white color on and drop it to the very end of the piece and just hold on to my thread. I'm going to pick up of my 11 OC beads, seven of those. And once I have seven of those on, I'm going to go back through that same pearl. So starting at that starter thread, working towards the top. Same thing now on the other side, I'm going to do seven beads as well. And these are 11 OC beads. I'm using the magic wine color. And once you have those seven beads on your thread and needle, once again, starting at the starting thread and going towards the top of the pearl, you're going to add seven beads. You can see that that goes around the pearl, but it doesn't necessarily cover the entire pearl. We have, still have gaps on each end. We're going to go in now and sew back through those seven beads that you just added. And then when I get to the whole of the piece, so right at the hole there, I'm going to pick up one more 11 O seed bead and close up that gap. I'm going to add one 11 O and I'm going to then go back through the seven 11s on the opposite side. So I'm continuing to make this a seamless round unit of seed beads. Once I get to the top, I'm going to do just like I did at the bottom and add one more 11 O seed bead and then once again, sew through some of those original beads. I'm going to sew through just two beads and then I'm going to exit there on the piece. So I have a total of 16 beads around the outer edge. We're going to start a bit of almost a peyote style here in the design as we add in our super duos and some 15 O's around that outer edge. So when exiting through one of your 11 O seed beads, I want you to add a 15, a super duo, and a 15 O seed bead. It, like a peyote stitch, we're going to skip over the next seed bead in line and we're going to go to the next one and sew through. We're going to repeat the same thing a total of eight times, adding a 15 0 seed beads, which I'm using that galvanized champagne, and my super duo, and then a 15. Skip over the next 11 0 in the series and sew through the next one in line. There we go. So again, we're going to repeat this a total of eight times. Adding in 15 Super Duo 15, skipping over the next 11 0, and sewing into the third one. I've got three on. I have five more to add on to the piece, and then we'll get ready to go around and connect that first hole of Super Duos once again. As you get ready to add your eighth one in, you're going to sew back into the first seed bead that your thread was coming out of, and that first 15 0, and the first Super Duo bead that you added. So you're going to want your thread and needle, after adding that last super duo in here, to come out through the first super duo that you added in that series of eight. From here, we're going to go in and connect again to that first hole of the super duo. So we're not stepping up yet. We're going to add two seed beads and sew through to the next super duo again through that first hole. So the outer hole is still going to be open as we work around, adding two beads, which are going to sit directly over the circle there, two beads into the next super duo. So you're going to repeat this again in between each of those eight super duos coming the whole way around the circle. 
as we do our step up now, I am adding in my last of my two C beats. And then stepping up, I'm going to go into the second hole of that same super duo that my thread is coming out of. So I'm gonna reverse the thread and come back through that second hole the opposite way. You'll see a little bit of thread on the outer edge, but as you go around and do this final step, it'll completely cover it up. For the final step, we're gonna use a 15, a crystal of 15, and connect to the outer edge of our super duo. We're gonna take this once again and repeat it eight times because we have that eight gap going the whole way around the piece. After we go the whole way around the piece, I'll show you how we're gonna add on our crystal, our wire guard, and do our little extra C beads if you choose to do that. You can see in the piece here that Cheryl did, she used a little bit of a tighter pool and pulled it so that it had a three-dimensional give to it. Here on the outside, she used Delica's, which made it a little bit more flat and rounded out. And then once again, on the piece she did live, she was using eight OC beads. So this outer edge here and what beads you put on the outer edge can affect how the piece sits and affect a lot what the look of the piece is. This piece is the same as this piece, which may not look like it just because of the outer edge adding in those additional 15s. So go ahead and work through this second hole of the super duo, adding in a 15 and a crystal or a 15 and an 8 15 as your outer edge pattern. Once you're done with that final crystal, we're going to go ahead, we're coming out of our super duo here, and I'm going to add a onto my thread and needle a 15 and 11 OC bead, and I'm going to pick up my wire guard. The wire guard is optional. You can do a loop of seed beads, but I always love the way the wire guard gives a nice polished look to pendants or earrings. Come down through the other side of the wire guard, which also prevents the thread from rubbing on jump ring or something like that. And you're gonna add another 11 and a 15 And we're gonna go back through that same super duo bead and then exit after the 15 before the crystal in the next rotation. So see how that just nicely added that to the top? Coming out through the crystal here, if you don't wanna add the outer edge of my seed beads, just go ahead and drop down to, you take your thread line the whole way down to the super duo that sits opposite. Other than that, we're gonna add some seed beads to the outer edge. Around the outer edge then, we're gonna pick up, if you want to put a little seed bead scallop, four 15 O's on your thread, skip over the crystal, and sew back through the next 15 super duo 15 and see how that just decorates the outer edge just that tiny little bit and makes it a little bit bigger in volume add four more seed beads skip over the crystal sew through the 15 super duo 15 and again add that to the outer edge here i'm going to do this two more times and then i'm going to get ready to add my crystal drop to the bottom so once again going in here and adding the 15 super duo 15 one more time and that'll get me in the position to add that crystal drop so 15 crystal 15 come on out through the super duo here and now i'm ready to add my drop to add my drop i'm going to do much like i did with the wire guard at the top adding a 15 two 11s and then getting my crystal on crystal i'm going to go from the top down adding that onto the piece and do a little pico trim to do the pico trim, go ahead and add three of your 15 OC beads. Those will hang out at the bottom of your crystal. Take your thread and needle back up through the crystal and through the two 11 OC beads that sit before it. Make sure when you do so to give a little tight pull to make those C beads sit in a triangle there at the end. From here, add one more 15. And then you're going back into that starting side of that super duo. What that's gonna do is allow your crystal and your drop after going through the super duo, also through the 15 that sits after it, put it into the position to sit down from the bottom right in the middle and hang there at the base. From here, I'm gonna go through this outer edge back up to the top here, adding in those scallops of four C beads that sit above the crystal. As you finish up the scallop there at the top, you're gonna go come out through the super duo there at the top and we're gonna step down. All we're gonna do is take our needle and thread so that way it's coming out the pearl as well and we can tie those two thread ends together. So I'm just retracing my steps here, sewing back through the beads, 
getting back to one of those 11 O's that sits right next to the purl, bringing my thread down through the purl. And I did start out with about three and a half to four feet of thread, which made both pairs of earrings, getting the pearls right next to one another, take that out. And because it sits to the back, you're not gonna see that knot. So I just simply took the needle off, tied those two thread ends together, grab your burner, and burn those two thread ends down towards the back of the piece. Once I have that, all I have to do is open up my ear wire, stick it on, and I have this lovely pair of simple super duo earrings. Really, really easy to make, really fast. Great ideas in the Facebook Live by Cheryl about making them into a necklace, putting some links along the side here, linking them with pearls, linking them as a bracelet with a little pearl in the middle too. So tons and tons of ideas if you want to go back and watch that Facebook Live and really have fun with making materials and things that you have on hand. Simple, quick gifts to have ready in case you have those emergency guests that come that you need something for. Thanks so much for joining me in creating these simple super duo earrings. Remember, if you do need any supplies, go ahead and look below the video in the description. You can get links there to shop with us online. Remember, you can also subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads, especially a lot of these nice, quick gift ideas that we're giving to you as we reach the holiday season. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for your next inspirational video.